Hi everyone, following the previous video, another exception that could be caused is the null pointer exception. This can be caused in arrays, but not only arrays, but in the case of arrays, it can be caused when an element or elements of an array are being accessed when the array is not initialized from the first place. So let's just change the previous program to make it cause a null pointer exception, and so then we can deal with it. Um, so I'm going to keep a few things as they are. Now before I initialize the, or the create the array based on array size, I'm, I'm going to create a condition um, and I'll call, uh, and I'll check if array size is equal to zero, then um, I'm making array of integers point to an empty uh, reference, so basically just null. And um, else, I'll create the array. So this way, there are some chances that the array is pointing to null. Okay, so this means when I try to access the array, um, the exception will be caused. But not always. If the entry is, if the array size is more than, is, is not zero, if it's one, two, or three, or any other number, then it's created. Okay, now, um, after the creation, I could now do an array. Uh, I could now um, start looping through the array. I could have a message here that says, enter values, just so we know this is not something, this is something I didn't have in the previous video, but we can have it here. And I would then display, um, let's say I just want to display one of the indexes, not all of them. Okay, so I've initialized that just so I can make the program shorter. Um, integer at index is, so let's just assume that I'm trying to access index number zero. Okay. Uh, I don't need this variable anymore. Okay, let me run the program. And so um, if I did three and I put in the values one, two, and three, this works pretty much the same. It's telling me um, it's it's working as expected. So it, integer index zero is 11. Um, enter values. Um, yes, I want a, a new line there. Okay, but what if I do zero? So this is going to point to null, and then we're trying to access um, a an element of the array that is not even initialized. So here, so I'm going to put zero, and so that's causing a null pointer exception. Okay. So again, this is caused because we are trying to access an element of the array of an array that is not being initialized. So this is when the array is created. It has not been created in this condition. And so this causes a null point exception. How can we avoid it? I could have another check here, um, right before I ask the user to enter the values. So I could say if um, the array is pointing or is equal to null, then I could say, uh, I could give a message that the array, or make sure um, that the array is, oh god, I can't type today, initialized, okay, else, else I can do that, I can do what I wanted to do. So this should prevent the exception from happening. So if I say zero, it tells me make sure that the array is initialized and so the exception was kind of avoided from happening or from being thrown. Okay, so this works for other, so if I said one, enter the values um, 100 and so it's displaying that as expected. So I hope this helps you understand what a a null pointer exception is and how it can be caused 
when working with arrays and how we can do a little check to avoid the program from crashing. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.